you're going to need some basic tools to start off with. You're going to need a flat tip screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need a pair of tweezers, a pair of um, needle nose pliers, um, preferably a pair of pliers that have no needle uh, nose. And I like using uh, nut drivers versus pliers on the nuts. And you can pick up a set like this off a of Wish for like $5. There's a set similar to it at Walmart for like 9 bucks. But um, you're also going to need a bowl, a, a roll of masking tape, <laughs> Uh, the deep well set roll of masking tape. I'm sorry. I'm getting it for you. I got too much clutter in my area A uh, deep roll set of masking tape a bowl or a piece of PVC pipe Now I use this piece of PVC pipe Which is four inches on one side and like three inches on the other side and that way for different style movements Um, you're also going to need uh, some uh, uh, clock oil. I don't buy clock oil. I have in my possession synthetic 0-20 motor oil. And it has to be synthetic in the first letter should start with the zero this will last several lifetimes uh, you're also going to need some dishes to put your clock parts in because i'm single i eat a lot of microwavable uh, meals and these work perfect for putting your clock parts in stuff like this um, I would suggest getting something like this if you can't see that well like myself I will be using this during these videos quite often or this which I just recently purchased because it helps out a good lighting um, a towel preferably a white towel that way you can lay your movement down your clock down without damaging the clock um, I'm just thinking of uh, your basic tools that you're going to need you're going to need some toothpicks or some skewers like these that I bought at the Dollar Tree back when it was a dollar for the Dollar Tree but something to hold your tools in. I suggest that you get some of these hemostats. I have several pair. As you can see, I went to a bait and tackle store around... Um, Potosi and these were a dollar fifty a piece.
Um, I would also suggest getting some Rotico. And I've got a video out there on Rotico. Uh, this is a basic clock repair. And you're going to need a stand to hold your clock movement in. Or to hold your clock in. This is a homemade stand. And I've got a video out there on me making this stand. Um, this movement stand um, a friend gave me. This stand, which is a movement stand I made. This movement stand I bought off of Time Savers, and it was quite expensive for something that sits over there and doesn't get any use. I don't like it. Um, I've got a video of a um, where you can put two kitchen chairs together and put your clock on there. Uh, I would suggest using some kind of uh, a device to secure the kitchen chairs. That way they don't move on you and your clock falls on the floor. Um, but you're going to need, uh, those are your basic tools that you're going to need. Um, when you get into bushings, you're going to need a, a micrometer. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a digital caliper. Um I've had somebody, and uh, I have a a YouTube video on cutting brooches that you can use to um, um, install bushings. It's a cheap method, or you can go out and spend a hundred and ten dollars on a KWM. Uh, reamer set and I just recently bought a KWM reamer set uh, if you're going to use a KWM reamer set I highly suggest that you purchase KWM bushings for the reamer set uh, you also will need a smooth cutting brooch and um, a ball peen hammer, a piece of block wood. Uh, you're going to need some of these or something similar to it to clean chains with. Um, Cleaning, the minimum you will need dishwashing liquid and water and a, a rags, an old toothbrush, an old uh, brush of some sort, uh, a hand brush that you use to uh, like wash cars or something with. Uh, I have an ultrasonic cleaner. I've got a video on homemade uh, cleaning solutions that I will add to this video set when we get to that section of the video. Uh, but you're going to need a, uh, uh, a ball peen hammer or a, a hammer of some sort um, 
And if you can find a block of steel when you go into repairing bent shafts and bent wires and stuff like that, I use this thing all the time. I would suggest a Dremel and a cordless drill. Um, it doesn't have to be the Dremel brand as long as it works like a Dremel. I know Dremels can uh, cost quite a bit of money, but you can find uh, rotary uh, tools at Harbor Freight for almost next to nothing. Uh, so, um, um, you're also going to want to purchase and I have a video on this. This is a snap ring plier set that I modified to take off the compression style clips. Uh, you don't want to damage those clips if you don't have to, um, you can purchase a, a actual tool and they cost quite a bit of money, uh, around 35 to $45 or something like that. Or you can purchase this for like $5 and modify it. Um, I would suggest you're going to need some super glue, you're going to need some Tyvex material, um, I would also suggest getting a bottle of this clear gel tacky glue, Aileen's clear gel tacky glue um, if you are getting into uh, um, clock repair a lot and you want to take the uh, frame off around the clock where you're going to have to pull the frame away from the clock the uh, uh, away from the, uh, the the trim, away from the main case. When you go to put it back on, even if you uh, put it back in in the exact same nail holes, it might not be as tight. Uh, a friend of mine who does a wonderful job, he takes all this stuff off, cleans it all up, looks brand new when he's done. But he uses this to make sure that the frame isn't going to uh, come off. And by using this, you can easily take it back off. It's, it's, uh, you can take it back off. Um, to clean up the clock cases, you're going to need at least Old English oil. Both this color and the dark color. You're going to need some furniture um, markers. Now you can purchase these at the Dollar Tree. A pack for $1.25. Or you can go to Menards and purchase them for like $12 or $15. You know, you're just starting off. You don't want to go and purchase all this equipment until you figure out this is what you want to do because you purchase a, a 
KWM uh, uh, bushing machine or Bergeron bushing machine. And that's going to cost quite a bit of money. Uh, and you can rack up a couple thousand dollars real easily. And then you decide, I'm going to go cuckoo if I keep on working on cuckoo clocks. And so you quit and you just wasted a lot of money because you will never get what you paid brand new for those tools back. And if you do, you are the one of the luckiest people out there. There's different kinds of furniture. Uh, there's New Life Furniture Mask, which my friend uses all the time. He makes his clocks look brand new. You got Howard's Feed and Wax, which I have another friend. Works on clocks for a living. Does a really good job. His wife cleans up all the clocks. They use Howard Bead and Wax. Their clocks look brand new. <clears throat> There's stuff like this Amish. I bought this. It, it does okay. Um, but depending on how you how much time you want to spend. Is depending on what kind of material you want to use to clean your clocks. You're going to need some uh, paint brushes to apply that furniture mask or the or the uh, Howard Peat and Wax, uh, both uh, to apply it into hard to reach spots, and then a dry paintbrush to to take it off afterwards. Uh, so, um, and uh, you're going to need some baking soda, and we'll talk about that later on as we, uh, as we go on. Uh, again, I hope you all are enjoying this video set. Um, uh, please hit the subscribe button, and, uh, we're going to continue on in the next video.